What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my first architecture project that I've done in second year of architecture school because the first year was mostly like conceptual stuff, something like it, topics like a tree house or stuff like that, so it's not really architecture. So this was a kind of a first project where I had to figure out how to kind of solve some basic architecture problems and how to design my, my first house. So I'm going to be showing you on my computer what that looks like. So let's open up first the project location. So this is the kind of an aerial photo of uh, Belgrade, that's the city where I'm from and where I'm studying. And over here you can see this is the highway that's going through the, through the city and here we got this project location. So this was the location where we had to design our own kind of a, uh, a city block, I guess. And above it, it, there was another very busy street. So the main problem immediately was how to figure out a city block that kind of conceals uh, the, the whole whole block from noise because the, the highway was extremely noisy and uh, this upper street uh, was noisy as well so we had to kind of figure out a way how to protect people from noise because the, the topic for this uh, for this project was a residential uh, block so we had to figure out a way for people to live there and sleep there and uh, not be disturbed by noise. And also there, there was this street going through the middle of the location that's connecting this uh, upper uh, street with the highway. So that was something good that we, we should uh, kind of preserve and keep there on location. So now let me exit out of this and I'm just going to be showing you my, my project. So let's open up this my, my presentation panel. So let's wait for a second. Okay. So over here you can see here I've got some diagrams showing my work. I was a big fan of uh, big architects and BRK Ingels at the moment. Well, st still am. And I, I did some uh, uh, big architects inspired diagrams over here. So as you can see in this kind of an isometric, iso isometric view, uh, this is the highway and this is that upper street and this is our project location and this is that street that's going through our project location. So the first thing uh, or my first idea was to do kind of these two uh, two rows of uh, houses, one over here next to the highway and one next to this uh, busy street. And the idea was to have these two rows of houses looking only at the inside of the block. So they would be kind of concealed from the, from the noise of both the highway and the street because they would both be looking inside of the, of the whole city block. And then inside I could kind of make some public area that's, uh, that's got, I don't know, like a park or something like that. So moving on, this is kind of then how I presented that. I, I wanted to, because this street over here was kind of a, a bit above the, the highway, so I wanted to kind of embed my, uh, my houses into the landscape and then have some green roof going over uh, all of the houses. So that's why I kind of represented them like these uh, triagonal uh, prisms over here. Anyway, moving on. So then I kind of, uh, th this part I embedded into the, into the ground because here I had this large uh, house and here we don't have really any large buildings. So I wanted to go, I think this was a hospital or something like that. So I wanted to go from this, um, I wanted my building block to be something that's connected this uh, big building and then just kind of slowly uh, goes into the ground. So that's how I designed my whole uh, row of buildings to kind of dissipate and kind of go into the ground and to have this kind of an organic transition. And moving on over here, as you can see here, this uh, street is still going through the middle of the location, but I decided to kind of push it away because the middle I wanted to keep as a public area and then I would uh, basically place my street behind over here. And then when I kind of develop the project a bit more, when you see over here, this is kind of one of those houses in a row, I decided to actually uh, place the street underground. So the street is over here, it's basically going underneath the house. It's still at the ground level, but the house uh, has some levels above that above that street. So that was kind of the, the point of that. So this is kind of the individual house that's kind of cut out of the rows of houses. And the first thing I decided to do is I decided to give it a large terrace over here on the front. 
Next thing, I decided to kind of add another facade because when you have houses in a row, they can either look front and back and on the sides they have neighbors so they can't look at the neighbors. And uh, on my particular projects, they couldn't look in the back because in the back was a uh, busy street so I couldn't have that. So what I decided to do is I decided to kind of uh, make this kind of shape that's going uh, above the house where kind of the terrain goes above the house to kind of split it in half and to have another facade over here and another kind of a terrace or a roof garden or I guess I guess it would be considered a roof garden over here so that's what they did over there so that's that's how I got to the, to the to the design of this house so as you can see over here this is the house and this is that uh, roof garden over here and so you have two facades even though it's a kind of a house in a row and then if I look if you look at the site plan over here so these are all of the those houses in a row uh, these I decided to angle uh, like this, at, I, I think it's at like at 30 degrees uh, because the sun or the south was kind of angled like that at 30 degrees so I wanted to have uh, my houses facing the, the south and getting as much sunlight as possible so that's the reason for that. And here, this is a second row of houses, and this uh, the, the idea was to have this just kind of a office buildings or something like that, because the the orientation uh, towards the north is just not not that good for living. So I decided to keep it as kind of office buildings, and then I would have all of this as a kind of a public park area for kids to play around and uh, for people to just kind of walk around and enjoy nature in the middle of the city. Okay, moving on. Here I've got some renderings. This is the rendering of that that main house, the upper portion. This is kind of an interior rendering. I had some of these vertical louvers that I really like, these wooden louvers. Then this is a kind of uh, looking at this uh, from the uh, upper street, so it looks kind of like this. And here you can go down to the houses. And now let's look at it, the individual house. So over here, this is the lower level and maybe it's better to show you kind of like this, yeah. So as you can see, this is the lower level and here you've got, uh, this is that street that's going underneath the houses and here you can enter the garage and here's just some additional parking for that house. And this uh, was designed to be kind of a separate uh, portion of the house and this can uh, function as, a, as an apartment. So uh, just a simple one bedroom apartment layout over here. So that's what I decided to do for that. So let's cancel out of that, go back into this. So let's go to the first floor. So this is the, the main kind of living room area with a big table for eating and a kitchen over here. And this is that kind of a roof garden that's kind of winding uh, around the building. And you have just a lovely area outside for kind of enjoying nature. Anyway. From here you can use the stairs and go, this is kind of an office that can be accessed from the street. So if you have some home business, you can kind of place it over here so people can come from the street and they can enter your house. And here I've got some stairs leading upstairs and this is the upstairs area. So this is kind of the bedroom area where we had a master, master bedroom with, <clears throat> with a bathroom and just another bedroom and a little terrace over here because why not? Okay, and moving to the section. This was actually the first 3D section that I've ever done in Revit and I was really proud of it. So as you can see over here, this is kind of that lower area with the garage, this is the living room area, this is the office area, and this is the upper level. And the reason this office is kind of between the living room area and the bedroom is because I need more height uh, above this street level because this, in my country at least the regulations are you need at least 4.5 meters uh, to have a street so that's why I made this kind of uh, at 4.5 meters so I could only have one office over here and here I could put two levels. Anyway moving to the second section yeah this is that lower apartment this is that garden this is the living room and the bedroom area as well. Okay, so that's the, the my first architecture project, my first real architecture project, and it's still one of my favorite ones that I've done so far. I think, I think I, I did a good job, uh, and it was a an interesting, an interesting topic to do kind of a, a residential area in a very noisy 
place and you had to kind of figure out how to protect people from all of that noise. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and tell me about your architecture pro first architecture project in the comment section below. And uh, of course, please subscribe, like and share this video and I'll see you in another tutorial tomorrow.